I should have checked before I started recording, but you know what? Mm, hold on. Are these real people? Please say these people are real. They updated IDB6X not that long ago, I think like a couple weeks ago maybe, to add ranked gameplay, meaning that if you don't want to like automatically max yourself out, you can now like actually level up by, by playing servers. I didn't know you couldn't do that originally, but now you can. So that's pretty neat if you don't want to just unlock all. The question is, are these all bots? Or are there real people here? I'm generally not sure. Some of these names are new, but also they're like clone shit. I think some of these people are real actually. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, there's still plenty of bots. Damn, there's no strafing. What the fuck? Yo, was I not supposed to make my class in the private match? Where the hell is my site? I had a red dot on here. I also can't strafe for shit, but I think that's just how Ghost is. I barely even noticed strafing until I, you know, heard that's like a normal thing. Ever since I've started strafing in gunfights, I just have not been the same. I've been a god gamer. I haven't died once because I, I don't know. I'm just like that, you know? What the? What? I'm at a loss. Is this guy real? I generally can't tell. At least one of these people are real. I think Psycho is real. They're top of the leaderboard, they have a decent KD. You know what, there's a good way to find out. Anyone here who isn't a bot? Let's see if anyone f responds. If not, I'll just immediately assume this server is full of bots. No one has responded to my inquiry. Uh, that's not a good sign. You really can't tell if these guys are bots until like you watch a kill cam with them. And that's when you're like, oh shit. So I generally can't, don't think I can ever figure out if anyone on my team is a bot. Unless they do something like super bot-like. Amazing. I plugged my PlayStation 3 in to my monitor so I can record that now. Issue is I kind of modded it. I installed like custom firmware on it so I can play like emulators and shit. And I can also like install PS1 games and stuff that aren't like in the store. Problem is I don't know if I can get my PSN banned for that because I'm logged in with my normal PSN account not like a secondary. I don't know I haven't even tried to log on yet. I'm gonna be completely honest. But I think it's pretty safe to rule out everyone on the other team as bots. Not sure about this team though. I think everyone's a bot except Psycho. Let's see if they respond, because usually people respond to being called by name. I don't see any response though. Hmm. They seem like bots right now, I'm being completely honest. Uh, let's just check it. Okay, so there is a non-bot in this game. It's I think that's the only person playing IW6X right now. At least in Europe. There is a North American server, which is completely full. I don't see why you ever want to completely fill a server with bots. That makes no sense. So there's got to be, like, plenty of players on there. I feel like the ultimate strategy is just, like, fill your server with enough bots. So your server isn't completely full, but, like, clearly looks active. Like, put eight bots in your server, and then every time someone joins, another bot leaves, etc., etc. Until eventually it's over 16 players and boom, there are actually real people playing on your server. Source, I used to run a Minecraft server. It never came out, but I, I did have one. I was like eight years old, dude. <laughs> I, it ne never, nothing ever came of it. What? Fuck, this gun is crazy. I don't know why I'm fucking losing. I'm killing bots. I'm not sure why I have specialist on. I should have kill streaks. I feel like it's also worth mentioning the perk system now that I think about it. The perk system was crazy. I'm gonna say it's the best perk system we've ever had. I don't see why in Modern Warfare 2 they didn't just revert to this one if they wanted to change it so bad. The new one is dog shit terrible. I did run my friend's Minecraft server at one point and he like had it for like his YouTube channel and shit. It was like a viewers can join type thing and it was a complete disaster. It, I got so stressed out. Everyone was like yelling about griefing and shit. We, were trying, we tried to keep it like kind of survival and then we're like fine we'll just add fucking land claiming and you're like no don't add land claiming and i'm like okay i won't add land claiming fine we'll remove it but we'll add this other plugin that lets us see when people placed shit and then someone would get griefed and then we banned the griefer and then they're like oh what the fuck i didn't do shit your plugin's lying okay for some reason all the real people are joining the other team oh we lost this game is fucking gorgeous by the way can i just say that right now like, look at it. It's so pretty. So that isn't the best to show. There's that one, like, tower map. I forgot the name of it. That map looks really good on PC. The console versions don't really, like, show well. They made them for, like, last gen, like, 360 PS3. And then they, they were told last second, oh, yeah, by the way, it's coming out on Xbox One and... What the fuck? And then they said last second, oh, yeah, by the way, Xbox One, PS4, make the game for that as well. So then they, like, changed, like, a couple of things and then just released the same game. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. I'm going in, though. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. It really doesn't look as great on console since they have to like take last gen into account, but man, this game looks great on PC. It's aged super well. Also runs really well on my PC on like Mario Fred 2, which makes that thing of like maximum velocity. I think Mario Fred 2 makes this PC as loud as like when I 
render a video, aka too loud. Look at this beautiful camo, by the way. I miss when you earn these silly camos. Nowadays you have to buy them. I'm gonna say I like the silly bundles, I like the anime shit as well. But my god, I need another kitty bundle, like a space cat bundle. I'm buying that shit day one guaranteed Infinity Ward. You heard it here first. Make, make just re release the skin, please. Wow, I'm terrible. I just killed a human in the game, not not in real life. Ah oh, shit. Wait. Toggle the hybrid. This gun is broken, by the way. I think it was a DLC gun as well. Oh god. At least the Peacekeeper was like okay at best. Like, it was as good as the other guns in Black Ops 2. And then in Advanced Warfare, they went ape shit with, like, the weapon variants. I don't think they released, like, DLC weapons. Like, you can still unlock everything. Just not the variants. Good luck with the variants. I mean, you could... Okay, you could unlock the variants, like, without paying a dollar. But you could also totally unlock the variants by paying a dollar. And that was the problem. Oh, no. I'm not getting completely destroyed by some camper. I mean, this game's kind of fun. Almost makes you wish this game was more bare bones. And it ended. We lost again, but you know what? It doesn't feel like I've lost... It feels like I've had fun. And that's all that matters in the end. Why out of you 6x? I mean, shit, even if you can't find real people, you'll still find bots. And, like, the game's still pretty fun.